Alrighty, hello everyone, I am the Green Jacket, and welcome to Green Jacket Plays. Today, I will be doing... <laughs> I will be playing Eternal Lands, uh, an MMO that I found online. Um, I, I've never heard of it before, but I've been looking for something to satiate my online MMO fix. I used to play a lot of World of Warcraft whenever I was younger. Unfortunately, I can't really afford to do that. So, hopefully this one is pretty good. I mean, it, it looks pretty good for a game that I've, I've never heard of. And I'm not saying I've heard of every game, it's just... Never heard of it. So, let's get started. Uh, new character. Uh, I always like Elf. Uh, now from what I understand of this game, it is cl- Whoa. Alright, how do I... Middle mouse button or arrow keys, okay. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. Pretty interesting. Um, but this is apparently a classless system. Okay, whatever they said hair, apparently they mean head, they mean hair, apparently. I want the short hair, I like short hair. Uh, skin, ooh, no. Ooh, that was charcoal. Ah, uh, good enough. Hair, there we go. Okay, so this is hair color. Alright, so, I already see some of my areas for improvement, but thank goodness they let you customize the eyes. A lot of games don't let you do that for some reason. I'm not sure why. Come on. I mean, I'll be fine with a white. Ooh, there we go. Wait, wait. Perfect. I'm actually fine with dark brown pants. Ew. Uh, let's go. There we go. That's fine. Good, 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 good. So, click down again to create. Yep, looks good to me. Whoa, oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. All right, click the tutorial NPC for some introductory quests with some nice rewards. Left click to move. To see the map in your location, press tab. Chat locally, type of the text when you press enter. Type Z, type at followed by your question. Okay. Wraith. Creepy. Uh, today's 29th day of the month of Cedar, the year 0055, age of the something or other. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Alright, uh, let me see. Today is a special day, day of alchemy. Today we get twice the alchemy experience. Nice. This is the 29th day in the, in the month of Cedar, the year 0055, Age of the Eternals, game time 34008. There are 123 invaded monsters left. Alright, a lot, of, a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, okay, so I guess let's talk to the tutorial NPC. For some unknown reason, maybe because of the floating name above his head, you guess this is a tutorial NPC designed to help you. Alright, fourth wall breaking, I like it already. He looks at you and says, Hello, the Green Jacket, do you need any help? Who are you? As you can see by the- <gasps> A rabbit! Holy shit! Oh, wow, a lot of stuff going down on down there, too. Oh, man, there's so much on this screen. As you can see by looking at my name, my name is Tutorial NPC. <laughs> I am here to teach new players about multiple aspects of the game, such as a few tutorials and help talk topics. Tutorials? If you want to learn more about the game, please finish all the tutorials. Not only they will help you understand how the game works, but you will also get small rewards, such as items or experience, and they will show you the location of some quests and resources. I think I gained an experience for some reason. I got scouting tutorial. Before I go on, I will explain a few useful things to you. In order to view a map of the area you are in, press the tab key. Cool. E la prima. I'm right here, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, there's a uh, a legend. So unfortunately, it doesn't tell me what a black star means, but I'm gonna guess it means an NPC. Um, orange. Oh, there's a tavern nearby. Dope. Uh, marker, mark, filter, control. F. All right. Well, that didn't do anything. Right tab. 
Before going on, is in order to view them. All right, pressing it again will return you to the main view. Alternatively, you can press the map icon in your icons bar at the bottom of your screen. The blue X is your locate. If you click somewhere on the map, you will move to that spot. Okay, cool. Uh, so which one? Is that view map. Ah, uh, well, I don't want to click anything and like risk getting taken out of this thing. Alrighty, uh, more. As long as there is a path between you and the targeted destination. All right, fair enough. Your target is marked by a red X. On some maps, you will see structures marked with different color circles. Okay, I already figured that out. Map color color life compass. All right. Oh, now that's interesting. Oh, that's brownie. It's so tiny. So it says, in some areas without maps, the compass can be very useful by writing down the coordinates of the entrance or the coordinates of resources. See, that's pretty cool, because uh, me, maybe it's laziness on their part, but I think that's really interesting um, that some places are going to be uncharted, so in order to find resources again, you have to actually remember and write it down. That, that's pretty interesting and somewhat realistic, in a way. Very boring, isn't it? <laughs> I like this game already. It's pretty cool. What is this? I don't know what OA is. Very boring, isn't it? Okay, now here's a small quest I want you to do, which will help you to get around and also test how well you memorized what I said. First, go to the tavern located on this very island. Remember, one circle. I don't know why, if you want me to remember it, you would remind me. Enter the tavern by having the walk, first icon selected, and clicking on the door. For your convenience, I place some markers leading to the tavern door. Once you are in there, talk to Rika, the taverner. Then get back to me for a reward. To review the quest objectives, you can check your quest log, which can be accessed at any time by pressing the quest log icon located on your icons bar. The scroll-like icon. Alrighty. There's a lot of scroll-like icons, but I'm going to guess this one. Quest log. Alright, so... Uh, that's one thing I'm disliking so far. There we go. The uh, thing is kind of shaky whenever it comes to um, trade bot. Is that a player? Oh, okay. Walk, sit down, and look at. All right, let's look at. You see trade bot. I see newbie storage. I see a bench. I see a fern. Ah, uh, so I'm guessing the blue things are the markers. Is that a beaver? Alright, so looking is kind of useless. Okay. Uh, I see. So, attack. Ooh, spell window. Nice. Alright, well, I'll have to get to that. Oh, uh, so this is one of those games, I think, where you can only move by... Oh, oops. Alright, so you can only move by clicking. Sort of like Rune's game. That's fine. I really wish there was some sound. Maybe audio. No. Wait, how do I change my... Alright, enable music. I think in order for it to actually have any effect, it um, needs to be restarted. Uh, so, I'm sorry there's not really any music. I'm not sure why there's no sound. Um, maybe I'll just add some, like, Creative Commons music in the background. I meant to talk to that lady, but... Ooh, jeepers. Alright. Okay, before you stand... Before you stand a young-looking elf, seeing you coming, she greets you with a warm voice. Hello, the green jacket. Do you need any help? How do you know my name? <laughs> my name is Lasud, and I am a guide sent to welcome the new arrival, such as yourself. Yes, Lord Luxon of Whitestone sent me here. Recently, we had a lot of new people spawning out of nowhere, which is quite odd. <laughs> My job is to explain a little bit of our world. Where am I? Oh, where am I? You are currently on Isla Prima. Isla Prima is a small island southeast of Ceridia. It is used mainly as a trading outpost in a small part where cargo ships crews can rest in their long voyage. Being situated between Ceridia and Aurelian makes it a busy place. What is Ceridia? Ceridia is the name of the continent northwest of here. Ceridia is situated near the equator in the northern hemisphere of Drya. Alright, so new arrivals. Yes, this is very strange. A lot of new people arrived here without knowing how or why they got here. Fortunately, a tech elf pardon me, is skilled in the regressive hypnosis art. 
so she can help you remember the things you have forgotten. I believe she can help you as long as she has helped many others before you. A tackle, as I was saying, she practices regressive hypnosis, which helps you remember past events that, for some reason or another, you have forgotten. If you wish, I can give you some directions on how to find her. Uh, let's do that later. Uh, Lord Luxon is the ruler of Whitestone City, but he doesn't have absolute power. People here don't like despots, so there are laws regulating what the ruler can and can't do. Fair enough. Nevertheless, Lord Luxon is a very nice man, and his main concern is the well-being and security of his people. I dig it. Um, central part of Ceridia, Whitestone City, Lakeside Village, Graham's Village. Their form of government is some sort of monarchy, and the current leader is Lord Luxon. Do, 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 do. Alright. Uh, let's just skip through all this uh, info. Try is the name of our planet. I'm not a shot for speaking. It's a very beautiful place. Walk in peace. Alright, well, eat a dick. Just kidding. You're pretty cool. Wow, this is very barren. Twice. That's okay. You know what? So far, I'm digging it. I mean, it's really cool. I mean, I'm too far away. Uh, that just looks wrong. <laughs> Use it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was dope. I got 400 attack and defense experience. Nice. Hello, the green jacket. What can I do for you? Would you like to buy some bread or drinks? We are also low on supply, so if you have a surplus, I would gladly buy it from you. Wait, was that it? So do I just go back to him now? Let's open up our quest log. Okay, I talked to her, so I mean... Oh look, it's turning nighttime. That's pretty cool. So far, it's not that bad. I mean, it's a little... I want to say barren, but at the same time, it's not. It's got a lot of nice detail to it. It's got trees, it's got plants. I don't know, it just feels like there's something missing. Or maybe I'm just being a bit, um, what's the word? I guess biased based on playing other games. But I don't know, I like it. I really wish the sound was working. That's kind of making me annoyed that it's not. Who is Novak? All right, so I lost that NPC guy. So let's open up our map. Can I? Oh wait, that's right. Tab. There we go. I wish there was a run button. It's kind of weird that there isn't. That's not gonna get old. Hmm. It might just be something they haven't implemented yet. All right. Scouting tutorial completed. Finish the quest. Next tutorial is harvesting. Awesome. Teaching you how to gather resources and use the storage to store and retrieve items. Alrighty. Alrighty. Easy peasy. Two main categories. Vegetal and mineral. <laughs> Vegetal. Okay, apparently that's not an error. Vegetal resources include plants, flowers, fruits, and vegetables. Fair enough. Minerals are things such as sulfur, coal, quartz, metals, and gemstones. Some of the higher level items require the knowledge to harvest them, which can be obtained by buying and using books. But for the duration of this tutorial, we will focus on simple things. On this island, there are nine kinds of flowers. I will add a marker to your map. Go there, harvest one impatience, then move to the next marker until you have... until you harvest one flower of each kind. Please do it in order from one marker to the next. Okay. All right, that seems pretty good. Uh, all right. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, so so far, that is uh, Eternal Land. So far, um, I'm pretty interested. It seems pretty basic. I can see a lot of areas for improvement, but so far, for just what seems to me to be some sort of obscure MMO. It's pretty interesting. I haven't seen any other players as of yet, as far as I know. I think Tradebot might simply be, um, like it says, a bot that someone's made. But I'm pretty interested. So I will record more and 
hopefully you guys are interested in it too. Uh, if you like it, I'll link it below in the description. So, uh, without further blah blah blah, sorry I'm very tired, uh, have a pleasant evening, or day, or night. I love you.